She's finally asleep. I can work. Where is doing this window? Because every window is going to come out pretty much. This window, we are lucky <laughs> to have three different sealants. It's like this beautiful rubbery, gooey stuff that has been giving me tons of trouble to get off. But luckily, it, once you scrape off most of it, you can get rid of the residue and stuff with almost any solvent. But it's a lot of work to get it all off the inside of the frame here. And a lot of it's still good. It's, it's like gooey, like sealant. It's like the stickiest butyl I've ever seen. And it gets everywhere. We'll have to get a lot of butyl if we want to seal this up well for each window. So my plan is to clean up really well around here because there was this butyl stuff. There's like 4,200. And then there was also my favorite thing ever, silicone, which takes forever to clean up. But my plan is to just clean up the outside real good and just real reseal just the the lid of this or the thing that gets bolted on from the underside and that should hopefully seal it up nicely without doing such a massive overhaul to each window. And I am doing this cleat because well we thought it was leaking but I think it's just the water from the window that was going through the bolts because there it was dripping like crazy all in this corner. But this window is definitely leaking as well. Good forearm workout. <laughs> For sure. Just taking them off was hard. The long bolts. It's a thick deck. And it's kind of nice because I think the deck is maybe not in that bad of shape, to be honest. It doesn't feel like punky or anything. Well, we got 4,200, a couple of beads of it, and a loop of what is it butyl around here we'll see how this holds and seals and we have coral supervising papa finding a movie and we are making puts in on the stove because the oven's not working not sure if it doesn't work or if we just don't know how to operate it. The oven actually works. There's the little red button that she got a hold to light the pilot. That is very from Quebec, I know. sail on your brother's boat sea dragon a gazelle what is it 43 42 well it's like 50 with the boss grip but yeah it's gonna be fun we've been on it before it's a chinese junk rig so it's completely different than our sloops that we're used to the only thing is hopefully the wind cooperates because there's not a whole lot of it right now it's been so long since we untied from a dock Tending the lines, Coral? You're, you're a good crew member? Excellent! She's not trying to grab them. We never thought we'd be back on board SVC Dragon, but here we are, enjoying a nice fall day. We even get to sail past our marina, where our very own sailboat is. It's a nice change from dealing with leaky windows. At last, back on the water, even though it's only for a day and not on our own sailboat.
sailing in the different sailboats is a great way to figure out what you like or don't like about it, like its features, the layout, or sailing characteristics. This gazelle from Thomas Colvin is very different from our CNC Landfall 43. The Chinese junk rig sails are managed and designed in a very unique way, which requires some time to learn. I won't really get into all the details, because we filmed and talked about this sailboat in a previous episode. We'll put a link to it in the description. Well done, Captain. Okay. Back All right. Back home. Right. Wow. <laughs> come where the Chinese food is. All right, come on in. <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> Looks good, eh? Smells good. Yeah. <laughs> Salmon does not want to sleep. <laughs> Sweetie, my hands are all dirty. I can't pick you up right now. <coughs> she wants to help Dad. Hey, sweetie. <coughs> oh, hi. Oh. Okay. Oh. Morning. <coughs> What's happening? Oh, uh, we're gonna attempt to take down the jib since there's not really much wind right now and we really want to take down the sails before winter. <laughs> I like that stuff is labeled. So I'll manage the jib sheet from the outside, furl or line rather, from the outside and we'll just unfurl it slowly. If the wind catches up, we'll probably furl it back in because I don't want the sail to hit any of the boats around because they're pretty close. And I'm managing the jib halyard. Yes, Coral. Actually, Cory says we can come out. So are we going out? I think so. Let's try. Whoa, that's a big sail. <laughs> that's huge. Uh, it's gonna be a 150. Good, it's laughing because we really don't want the wind. That's why we're doing it now. Ideally, we'd be doing it outside, like in the water. Well, that was stressful, but you did it. It's all on the proof that we're not professional racers. <laughs> We'd usually foil, like fold the whole sail and deck, but this is the ball technique. And we get to inspect the whole sail. Who needs a mattress when you got a daddy? <laughs> well, we have a last minute change of plan for this window that was kind of rotten underneath. We were going to fix the wood right now, but we ran out of time pretty quickly, just doing about half the windows on the boat. Uh, There's just a lot of gunk to remove and silicone. And anyway, it's a lot more work than anticipated, 
but we're getting it done. So for now, this one, uh, we want to seal it up while we're gone. So we're just going to throw extra butyl where the gaps are. So under here, I'll have a little bit thicker and around the sides, we'll just do one thinner strip to make up the difference of the gap that's underneath. And then uh, we'll slap it together, seal it off on the outside, and then it should be good, at least for a little while. We have a deck wash pump it ties into the rest of the water system, and I have a feeling that it might have not get, it might not have been winterized at one point because it seems like the housing is leaking. So I'm just removing the pump to take a better look at it. The boat is a bit of a disaster with things everywhere while I clean. And I haven't been putting anything in all the cupboards because some of them had windows leaking into them or maybe tow rails, boats, not too sure. And this wonderful mattress is falling apart. I think we're gonna have to do some research and figure out what we wanna replace it with. So comfy for heating these amazing huge storage compartments. They are a little filthy. I see the problem. Oh! What is it? Uh, the little pressure switch here that's supposed to turn it on and off when the, out the outlet has enough pressure. It looks like the whole housing is cracked. The pump is still good, so I just need to look up this part here. Unfortunately, I thought it would just be this, but yeah, I don't know if you can see a crack there. Well, we actually got lucky. It's just the, the little sensor for our pressure. So we just need a new one of these and we should be, oh, this goes the other way. We should be good to go. We, we could even try gluing this together. Quick fix and see, cause it's all in one piece. Try, try some super glue, see what happens. Are you making sure everything's going good, sweetie? The foreman? Yeah, the super glue worked for now. Uh, I don't think it's a long-term fix. It seems like this is an older pump, so I was having trouble finding the new part. So I figured I'd try super gluing it. It works. One would think that vacuuming is really easy, but it's actually the hardest thing to do on the boat because Coral hates the vacuum. She just starts bawling, just cries every time I try to vacuum. So now she's awake. I'm gonna get the vacuum hooked up and Cory is gonna go take her for a walk, get her off the boat. Okay, keep going. <laughs> You got your shoes on. Have fun. Are you ready to go? Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, you're ready. You excited to go on an adventure? Coral's really excited to go to the end of season barbecue here at the marina. It's gonna be nice. We'll be able to meet so many new people that we've never met before. And uh, apparently I think there's like a pig roast. No, maybe not pig roast, but they, they have some pig and we're supposed to bring dessert. So it's gonna be fun. And corn. Oh, corn. You love corn, don't you? And it's right <laughs> over there. Yeah, close by. We can jump there. Yeah, they're hanging them out. fun evening. I am so full. There was so much food, so much dessert. Coral had a blast. We get to meet lots of people. It was nice. Like we just showed up perfectly time for the end of the year border party because we haven't really met that many people yet. A few in passing here and there, but we haven't even been at this marina for a week yet. So. So yeah, that was a perfect way of meeting, mingling, and enjoying some live music. But now, it's time for bed. Mind you, she was rubbing her eyes like crazy, but now she's like, nope, 
I'm not tired anymore. No. What do we do? And she made a little boyfriend who's a week younger than she is. Oui. <laughs>